So you guys, I could not go live in this motherfucker as I tagged it, so I had to go back and untag it. Everybody wants me to go to sleep, but I'm not sleepy. I am ready to go driving in the fucking Jeep. That's what I'm not ready to do. Anyway, you should definitely come up to Bills, chill, kick it, and do whatever, but this is my breakfast. This right here is home fries and motherfucking sausage gravy and motherfucking cheese and extra fucking cheese. And that shit right there is pecan pie that they grill for me and it's Tammy's way and that's the only way you can get it is if you ask for it my way and the motherfucking like coffee that makes your fucking hair stand up so if you motherfuckers are out and about you want to go play in the sand you want to go play in whatever I'm thinking about going to Uwari actually I kind of want to get out and just fucking go you know what I'm saying and uh be myself, but if you guys are out and you guys tie, oh my fucking god, what are you up to, my nigga? Damn, I miss you so fucking much. But if you guys are out and about, you should definitely come up and chill at Bill's truck stop. This place right here, you see that? Those have been in there since I was fucking like 20 years old, 19 maybe. So they've probably been in there for like 50 years, I don't even know, but straight up. If you're down with some mud and you're down with some breakfast, come on over and fucking, you know, kick it at the Waffle House, dude. Definitely if you've been out drinking or whatever, make sure you got a designated driver and bring y'all's motherfucking ass up here. Hey, guys. Bring your... You want me to come get you? Do I need to come get you? I got that fire. And I don't mean no ice. Fuck that shit. I smoke motherfucking weed. Hey. Good. Don't be calling me old because I'm about to turn 40. For real, I'm about to be 40. Y'all want y'all to know this shit is fucking banging. Mm. And only that one right there knows how to cook it. Y'all got y'all on live. Y'all want to say hey? hey. <laughs> I'm trying to get y'all some business. I'm on live. Say hello. Right now, we on yeah, they on break right now. They don't break right now, y'all. For real. I might be old, but you know what? I know exactly what to do and how to do it. <laughs> but. Ty, you need to hit my inbox up, dude. Because I have not seen you since um, I was tutoring and teaching at Uptown Learning Center. And that was like, okay, I got Alzheimer's like two years ago. So it's been like, what, five years? She's like, all I care about is money. She really don't. She cares about her customers, really. Y'all, this shit is banging. So who the fuck else is up near near Bill's truck stop? And quit calling me old, Matt. You was just as old as I am. Oh, no, the coffee's for the ride. Because I think you are, he's like... An hour and 30 minutes. And I want to get down with some motherfucking rocks and shit. Down in the fucking grooves. I'm going to go up Daniel's. I'm going to see if my bitch will make it up Daniel's. Even though, y'all, I did hit that mud hole. And that some smart ass, stupid motherfucking, dumb ass motherfucking bitch put a tree in it. And I hit that motherfucker head on. Um... I done got all my axles and my CD joints and my ball joints and my ball bearings, all that shit switched out. So before I go up another three inches, I want that. <laughs> but before I go up another three inches on my truck, you know what I'm saying? Y'all should come ride with me. For real. Tennessee. Isn't that where Blacksburg is? I know that I can come up there and I can go to the moonshine place and I know I can walk around them booths over and over again so I get so fucked up I can't even walk. And then somebody else carries me to my own car and they drive because I don't get behind the wheel like that because I don't even know what the fuck. I don't even know where the elevator is and I don't even take the elevator so I roll down the steps a couple times. I've never rolled down the steps y'all just to let you know. I can handle my alcohol probably better than most men out here. Hey Daniel! 
gives you some sleep, Ron. And uh, keep your head up. Stay tight. Don't let them bed bugs bite because them bed bugs is out everywhere. People got them bitches everywhere. The schools got them. They better be glad they ain't up in my motherfucking house. Them bitches ain't welcome. Is that near the beach? Y'all, I got the best sweaters. You're welcome. She's not on break right now. She'll be back in a minute. Is that near like the beach? Because I went, James, get your ass up, fool. Get in your car and drive to Bill's truck stop. Your motherfucking ass lives in Lexington, too. Support your local businesses before I go out to you, Ari. Wendell. Oh, yeah, Wendell, I tried to send you a video. I don't know if you got it. This is what I'm eating. Y'all better be glad I'm eating. Look. Oh, my coffee. Because I can't lose any more weight. This looks like... Look how loose my fucking tight-fitting shirt is. No more weight. No, I'm talking about, like, the schools have been sending notes home talking about um, how they got bed bugs and shit. Bitches, y'all better hope don't know, bed, don't know bugs at all coming from my house. Oh my god. I can so imagine me going to the school and just tripping balls and shit and Oh god. Don't wanna do that. I will look at it. Ninety nine. Wayne. Hey Cody, I wish you'd make it to fucking North Carolina. Hmm. Is that like the reservation? Oh, that ain't far from me. Shit. Is there anything? Is that like... That's the mountains, isn't it? I'm not talking about Kings Mountain, but I'm talking about like... Where you're talking about Cherokee Falls and all that shit. It's actually riding through like Grandfather Mountain and all that shit. I do that too, but dude, I'm scared of fucking heights, man. I ain't trying to get up that fucking bar. Like somebody else have to drive up... Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, mm -mm. I, I can't even get drunk enough to get up. No, like going up the mountains and like Grandfather Mountains, all that shit. I was like, but what really scared me was sitting in the back of a big ass, big ass jacked up red motherfucking mud slut going up Daniel and motherfucking Yuari up beside that bitch where they didn't even have any fucking trails. That really fucking fucked me up. Cody, you need to hit my inbox up for real. For real. I'm going to go mudding and fishing. Who the fuck can't do both shit out there at the damn Yakin River? The fucking motherfuckers so flooded. There ain't nothing but mud shit. And I just went up on that shit today. I took a picture of it. That's where I went. Shit. The motherfucking river. And ain't nobody else getting back there. I don't give a damn. Well, if you got a truck like mine, you can get back there. But you better have it up like mine and not bring no Dodge Ram out there with four-wheel drive because you'll sit there seesawing like this. And that's being for real. I told my friend I'd get him up it. I never told him I'd get him over it or, like, back down it. So somebody had to pull him out. Just saying. That's why your ass needs some motherfucking Jeep. <laughs> or get you know, get a a bagged out Yoda like mine. I've got a ninety Yoda too that's bagged out. I'm really thinking about selling to her, but um her name's Sal Jack and that one right there is Jack Ski. Um or Scale Jacks. That's what I named her. And the other one is Salgix. And the reason those are called, what they're called, is because they're going to be black satin. And they're going to be fucking nothing but nightmare before Christmas. I am the hugest fucking Tim Burton fan of fucking alive. And my, my mud slut's going to have nothing but the nightmare before Christmas scene on it. And my lowrider bagged out bitch is going to have everything Tim Burton has ever made on it. 
include his newest edition, The Peculiar House of Peculiar Ch Children. Let me see if I can't make a bitch float. Um, this right here is home fries with cheese, gravy, and motherfucking more cheese. And I'm not going to be able to eat it all because I gave some to the waitress because she's never tried it. But I'm about to eat that fucking pie right there like they know tomorrow because when she makes it on the grill, yo, I'm telling you, you got to get it made on the grill. If you don't get it grilled, you ain't ever had no pecan pie. But, uh, for real. I know, and look at the fucking cheese, dude. Like, they melt the motherfucking cheese. And it ain't no little bit of cheese, look. It's like lots and lots of cheese. It's like the cheese of cheese. For real. I gotta get full before I start smoking. And before I start riding and mudding. Because it's a motherfucking morning. It's Monday. I don't intend on going to sleep anytime soon. Because sleep's for the birds. And, um... You got some of them, because I'm coming to your house. Fuck it. Fuck it. I don't even need you, Ari. I want to try one of them bitches. Everybody said they're so fucking good. And, like, I've been saving up so much keep, man. Like, I want to make a moon rock, you know what I'm saying? And just, like, try it. I'm about to fucking, as soon as they legalize it, it's, like, fucking 96% here in North Carolina. And even Christian groups going out. And they're all for all for pot. They're all for marijuana because they know it's a natural a cure. It helps me with my fibromyalgia. It helps me get out. It helps me not be so like, you know, all anal and shit all the time. And I can be a bitch. I'm going to tell you guys that like for real, for real. But like, see, this is what I'm talking about. People always want to know my location and shit. They say that I never fucking say anything about where I'm at. And I've been here for I don't know how long. Mm. This shit, right? No oh, shit. Y'all see that shit? No, but this pie is the shit. Does that what it makes you feel like? Like, because I haven't been high in a really long time, and that's on some real shit. Like, I smoke so much, bud, that I don't even catch a buzz. And I think when I piss, it's straight THC. Like, for real. I told you, bitch. Get up out of the bed. Well, you be bullshitting. Bullshitting. I just know that I ain't got to work tomorrow. I got a lot of nut off that cake in my mouth. And I ain't got shit to do. I feel like I, I did. I quit for a couple of years, too. And then whenever I got, you know, reestablished, I was like, you know, but I've been smoking for five years straight. As you guys know, I only smoke loud. It has to be like stativas, you know, something that's not going to like make my mentality go out of whack and shit. I know I can't believe I'm eating either, but you know what? I got some fucking shit. You want me to bring you the rest of these potatoes? Hey, Jason. But for real. I started smoking real heavy when I found out in October 2nd of 2015 that I had cancer for the first time. And uh, <clears throat> don't get me wrong, I was smoking before then, but then I started smoking like real heavy, like so fucking heavy, like I can smoke a QP in a week and be straight as a motherfucking, and everybody else be like, I mean, toward the fuck down, like, and I'm like, 
but that was with my cervical cancer. When I found out I had breast cancer, I started smoking a little bit heavier, and I started making a uh, load of little silver uh, water, um, which is made with still water, and you, you make it yourself, basically out of 9.2, 9.9999. Not nine five because that's not real. That's not the real sterling silver. And I started drinking that shit, and I made my own H two O two. That is actually um, human grade, and what it does is it opens your um, oxygen inside of your you know veins inside of what runs your your body, and I think it might be the cure to AIDS and shit, you know, because once AIDS hits the air, you know what I'm saying, it dies, right? So I'm thinking that maybe I might be on some shit. So I'm just going to keep on, like, collaborating with shit and, like, making shit and see if I can't come up with a cure for people so they don't have to fucking die because people don't want to get a fucking cure over and shit because they're a bunch of greedy ass motherfuckers. So I'm going to make that shit for somebody one day, you know. Um, I have cancer now. I'm not exactly sure what kind because they will not tell me until I sign a fucking paper with two beneficiaries on it to make sure that I am in my right state of mind or whatever. And then um, my heart issue, you know, having three clogged arteries and shit, my heart rate after getting off of a fucking treadmill for 15 and a half minutes was 187 and dropped completely down to the city in less than three seconds. And that was the worst thing in the world, dude. I like I was going to pass the fuck out. Oh, I know. But I think that there's a cure for everything. And I think that, you know, a lot of people are like H2O2, you know, you can't drink peroxide. Well, there's human grade peroxide out there. And there's also this shit called old oregano. And it comes, it has to be 90 proof and it comes in a bottle and it's stout as fuck. And I'm telling you guys, I'm a shot of fucking apple, I mean, orange juice or apple juice, your choice, but a drop or two drops, that's it. It helps a lot with any sickness that you have. And B17 is actually the cure for all cancer. You have to order it off Amazon. You do research. The reason why they took it off the shelf is because it's a cure of cancer. And they don't want people to know that there's a cure out there. Well, surprise, 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 surprise. Chemo didn't do shit for me. I cured myself, and I'm hoping to cure myself again. I'm scared to die, and I'm scared to leave my kids, so I've also made the decision to start going back to the doctor and dealing with these heart issues and this cancer, and then going to the neurologist and the fucking back specialist and to see just how far and long I'm going to be able to walk again for them to tell me that shit. Y'all look how coffee, look how strong their coffee is. So that's why I say when you guys think that you're having a bad fucking day, dude, you really need to think about somebody else's shoes because somebody else out there is going through a whole lot tougher situation than we are. And we don't think about those things, you know, we don't think about daily life, we don't think about other people, we just think about our problems, you know what I'm saying? And that's the thing that really gets to me is like, my problem, I mean, my kids, you know what I'm saying? Am I a perfect mom? Hell no. And I don't believe that there's anybody out there that is and um, or ever will be. Um, there's women that like to portray their life as perfect mom or, you know, what the fuck ever. But ain't nobody got time for that shit. Not today. And I'm not going to fucking bullshit you. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you know, the thing with May May and Didi, like, it pretty much practically ruined my family and it drug us apart. And I just want my family back together and... It's really hard when you got your 13 year old sitting there telling you that they really miss my man Didi and you know, are you going to get back? And then you got your, you know, your two nine year olds, which want to be 13, I mean, not 13, want to be uh, 10 on the 14th. You know, asking me why you lied and why you ripped our family apart. And now my oldest is gone and I barely ever see her unless I actually go see her. And it's sad. Like, 
It really is that because you realize in life who's in your corner and who's really fucking not. You know what I'm saying? And that's when you're just like, you know what? Fuck all you motherfuckers because that's the way life rolls. You know what I'm saying? Because that's when you start going solo and you don't give a fuck about what nobody else thinks about you. It's a fucking basically I could give a fuck less what anybody fucking says about me. Straight the fuck up. Straight off dick. On the real fucking motherfucking holy field. Like, yes, I motherfucking cuss. Sure as fuck do. And you know why I cuss? Because I'm 39 motherfucking years old. And I do what the fuck I want. Because you know what? I pay my own motherfucking bills. Motherfucker. But did you die? That's what I'm putting across the front of my Jeep, I think. Like, it's just so fucking, like, heartfelt to all these people out here that are sick and shit. And, you know people that are dying every fucking day or people that, you know, have to go through life every single day and they have to know that they're facing death and they don't know when their last moment is. Nobody knows really when their last moment is. It's up to you to decide whether or not you are ready to fight for that shit on my jacket. If you're ready to fight or if you're ready to give up. And I was ready to give up and not thinking about everybody else in the situation, just thinking about my feelings and, you know, I never took my kids into consideration at that point because at that point I was so lost, I didn't know how to find me. And that is why there's slits up my wrist. Um, you need to, and I love you too. It's just that, you know, it's in life, you know, we make the judgment, we make the call on things. We decide whether or not we want to, you know, live our life the way we live it. When you start living life the way somebody else wants you to live your life, you're basically dying inside. So you might as well dig your six foot hole and throw your damn self down into it because when you start living like other people want you to live, man, you're fucking the fuck up. Be you. Always remain true to yourself and remain true to everybody else. And if the motherfuckers got a problem with it, smack them bitches to the curb because they ain't shit. Not a damn thing. Hey, Rob. You know, and I will give you the shirt off my back. I don't give a damn what shirt I got on. I don't care if it costs me fucking $5 from a Goodwill or $500 from wherever. And I, would, I wouldn't have been $500 off a shirt. Just saying. But I will give the shirt off my back. Today, you know, I uh, went and got my coffee as usual. And I paid for the car behind me. And they the sales associate so that she could buy her blunt when she got off work. Because y'all know what life is fucking hard when you are working in retail or you have to work with the public or you have to work with anybody because people got some smart ass motherfucking mouths and I just like I can do it. Y'all have to cage me up and put me on the damn telephone because I'll be beating big boy. Be like, says here you live at such and such address. Is that where I can find you at? <laughs> I love you too. Well, the doctors told me open heart surgery back in September. I don't remember how long ago that was. Don't really care. I just know that I refused. Um, my blood pressure has been like 243 over like 180. It's been really fucking bad, and that's with blood pressure medication. And the other day, for the first time in a really fucking long time, I was like, this fucking long. Whenever I got those pictures of them girls sent to me, was the first smile and the first tears of joy that I had had in a really fucking long time because. I am fighting to keep my head up above water. And I don't tell you guys that because I want you guys to be happy. I want you guys to be uplifted and shit. I want you to realize that positivity is everything that you create within yourself. And as long as you keep it within you, there's nothing nobody can do to take that shit away. You know, nothing. All right, bro, I'm just scared. <laughs> I'm scared about leaving my kids. I'm scared about the choices that I made so far. I'm 
be scared about a lot of shit. <laughs> Cheyenne went out and told a whole bunch of people a whole bunch of lies about me, like I beat her and shit, I never spent time with her, you know, it was always hell at my house, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, what the fuck, are you... Mom went broke. Mom went broke for three proms, but she only went to two. Mom went broke for graduation because she was proud of her daughter for actually putting forth the effort to be everything that she fucking can possibly be and graduate early. $1,600. Okay. Her dad paid 200 and I appreciate that because I'm going to tell you it helped me a lot. I still haven't been able to afford her class ring and I'm working toward that. She left home. Um tell me I'm all about myself. I wish that I could be all about myself because then I would still have three ounces of weed just in the past two weeks. I would still, you know, not have to go to my daughter's job all the time to see her or to go to her house all the time to see her and you know, buy a cup of coffee with a $20 bill and give her the rest of it so that she, I can make sure she's got money, you know, whether or not I have it or not, you know, that's just the way I am. And now she has lost her Verizon phone and I don't have the money to get her one. Um, she has no idea what happened to it, just knows that she's pretty sure she took it to work and so they stole it from work. And so now I'm going to have to come up with the money for that shit, you know, and for her to go out here and tell all these people that even, even the fact that she went to my ex and the one that kicked the side of my face out and kicked my nose and broke it and shit, even though she went back and told all these lies, I know it was because she was hurt. She was damaged. She didn't know what to do. And that was her way of gratification to help her survive in this world that we live in. You know what I'm saying? because every little bit helps and if somebody can, you know, donate a penny here, a penny there, whatever, I guess that's what she felt like and I don't understand why she used me to be the bad guy in the situation, you know. I've always tried to do for my kids. The only thing that I didn't do was whenever May May and Dee Dee got taken and I, I dealt with that. I dealt with it by myself and I didn't think about nobody else in the situation because it broke me to the point of I was ready to fucking die. Like I gave the fuck up the day they come and pick them up, the day I had to walk away from that car without turning around and blasting off of them motherfuckers. I turned around and fucking walked the fuck away from the two important pieces that fucking held my family together like fucking glue, dude. And then I turned around and walked away so that I could fucking take care of life or what I thought. So what she tell you? You really, really, really need to tell me. Like, you can tell me in the inbox or whatever, but see, that's what I'm fucking talking about, dude, man. We were together every fucking day. I live fed every bit of my life on this fucking goddamn motherfucking Facebook every motherfucking day. And who was sitting beside me in the fucking driver's seat of my fucking vehicle? You know what I'm saying? Every single motherfucking day. That's why this is me the fuck off. Like, if I beat her so much, then how did I lie beat so much? How did you see her every fucking day? And there was never a fucking mark on her. What? This shit. I'm boy. Let me tell you motherfucker something, man. <clears throat> y'all young bucks out there think y'all know everything. And y'all think that you can use somebody else's name to get some dirt out there and fucking say this, that, and the third. But what you're doing is you're causing karma on your motherfucking self. Yeah, I ain't worried about what the fuck you gotta say about me because I can prove my shit. You know what I'm saying? But when you're going out here and you're sitting here telling people that I did something to you, you better make goddamn sure that that's exactly what the fuck I did to you because if it ain't, it's coming. You know what I'm saying? Don't ever fucking sit here and accuse a fucking person of being somebody that they're not because
is you're not happy with the way that life's treated you because you know life ain't always fucking fair and ain't everybody got no fucking fair choice. You know what I'm saying? That's real fucked up, dude. Like, my own fucking... Oh, boy, I just want to fly. I'm going to go out of this motherfucking restaurant and smoke some motherfucking herb. Because I'm about to flip the fuck out. You know what? After every fucking thing that I've done for her, everything that I have worked toward my fucking whole life and tried to fucking give her everything that she fucking wanted, dude, fuck that shit, man. When you burn fucking bridges, especially ones with your fucking parents, man, you can't get that shit back. Fuck that. Alright, dudes, let me go and pay for this shit. I'll live feed again in a fucking minute, but right now I'm gonna get off here before I flip the fuck out and trip on this fucking live feed because, uh, I'm gonna tell you guys what, you know what, you kids out there need to learn some fucking manners and shit and stop lying on your fucking parents and shit because you get them in a whole lot of fucking bullshit. And I'm gonna tell you what, if it comes back on me to where I'm gonna be fighting motherfuckers because you lied and said I hit you, I'm gonna knock you the fuck out straight the fuck up. Just like that. How about that? Alright, I love you guys. Um, I can't FaceTime. I can video chat you. I love you, bruh.